You are here to preach the word of God. We, we, we all want to. Is it a bad thing? We, we all want to discuss the truth. Yeah. The truth is, is important. Thing? Forget about who's saying it. It's important that we we focus on the truth. So when it says that the father, uh, the son proceeds. No, he, he was uh, trying to ask me questions because he wanted to understand. You and then. Uh, we all, all want to understand. We want to shrink in the size of the audience. Actually, we 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 all want to understand your position. I'm understanding through your conversation. Much yeah. I have weakness in speech. Yeah. So when he says that the son. So you brought your stronger person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, he didn't bring. I came. No. I came by my own self. <laughs> okay. So when he says the son proceeds from the father, what do you understand by that? The son proceeds from the father. Yeah, but when he okay, did the father proceed from anyone? Okay. So the father, I would say, has the has the what do you say? I'm not, I'm asking. Yeah, so. I'm not twisting your words. Yeah. Because I'm asking proceed. This is the language that the creed uses. So it's not your words, it's the creed of the church. The church. Okay. Are you going to ask me which church? No. Good. I was hoping you wouldn't. <laughs> because then I'll say which one you want. Yeah. Catholic or Protestant. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm saying is that because the church uses this language, that's why I'm saying this is the language they use, proceeds from. Yeah. So the father does not proceed from anyone. That means the father is not dependent on anyone. Do you understand? But the son proceeds from the father, which means the son is now contingent on his existence on the father. No. He's the okay, once again, does the father proceed from anyone? No. No. Good. Does the son proceed from anyone? Yes. Is God's begotten son? Yes. Again, she is yeah. begotten. You, you can use begotten, no problem. Still. You have to beget from somewhere. That means someone else is your source. Do you see what I mean? It's, but it's not the source. It's like out of himself. It becomes no. source, right? You know, out of... It's, it's by your, source. Okay, by the way, you know, in English, the term for out of yourself, by your, by your own self you exist, is called aseity. It's not begotten. The term aseity means you are self-sufficient, independent, self... Uh, sorry, lady, you are going to poke her eye out. <laughs> okay, so self-sufficient, independent, and you are self-existing. That means without dependency on anyone else. That term is called aseity in English. The only one who has this property is the father. No. Okay, once again, did the son come from the father or the father from the son? No, there's no coming from... Proceeding from, that is the same thing, coming from. You said begotten, no. begotten from. Or Whether you use begotten or proceeding or coming from, they all mean the same thing. I that is, you, you have a source. Himself. No, no. See, begotten I, can never be by yourself. Begotten means. Out of himself, that's what I said. But that's not what the church I teaches. Yeah, yeah, I think she's been intimidated. So yeah, yeah. the church, the church doesn't teach this. Are you a celebrity? No, yeah, You know, it's 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 not for celebrity purpose. We come here for educational purposes. Okay. So, for example, so you know when Jesus was preaching. He wasn't a celebrity. He wanted to get the truth out there. As many people listen to him, if he's got the truth, then he shouldn't be worried about how many people are gathering. You see what I mean? Unless you have something to hide. And I'm sure none of you have something to hide. Okay? Because just like, just like Christianity, Islam is also evangelical. I mean, we want to teach and proclaim the truth to everyone. Okay? So that's, that's the reason we use cameras to educate and to get the message as far as possible. Okay? Modern times, modern modern equipments. I'm sure if Jesus had YouTube done, is, is he would he would love to have the truth proclaimed to everyone. Okay, okay. Do you have any material so we can give it to her? Do you think is that you, is that the essence here? When I look at your videos, yeah. Okay, which part of what I said makes you look stupid? You're trying to trip Christians up and then the comments and everything. No, no, forget it. Look, I don't. I'm not the one. You know, people can have different opinions. Which part of what I just told you makes you look stupid? Because you made an allegation, I want no, you to back it up. You, I remember you. Yeah. Um, 1998. A couple, of, <laughs> a couple of years ago, I mean, long time ago, I yeah. come here. You said you, you were like trying to, you know, twist and say, you know, one God, two God. Jesus, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jesus always believed in one God. Yeah. So if anybody says more than one God, then that is twisting. So if I said that, then you would have a case, but I would never say such a thing unless you show me evidence for that. Do you think we believe in more than one God? 
Actually, when you say that Jesus is fully God, the Father is fully God, the Son is fully God, how many gods have you got? One God. Really? Which one? No, no, which one? From the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, because... I'm sure you, you've heard the answers many, 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 many... Not from many you. Not from you. Not from you. Not from you. Because you guys, you guys are making this allegation that we are twisting things. So I want to know, now that you have three fully gods, okay, and you're saying this is still one... No, no, okay. Each one is fully God. You're not saying that these are three gods. You're saying this is one God. Am I right? Good. The question is this. What did Jesus say was the only true God? What did he say? Who did Jesus say is the only true God? No, no. Jesus, from his own statement, who did he address as the only true God? Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. She's right. Okay. If Jesus and the Father are one, then why is Jesus says the only true God is the Father? Then? Yeah, so Jesus in his human nature, yeah. right? In his human nature, he's saying God the Father is God. Very good. In your human nature, who do you say is the only true God? Let's see if you agree with Jesus now. In Jesus' human nature, he said the Father is the only true God. In your human nature, who do you say is the only true God? No, not, in my, uh, not from my human nature, from the word of God I know. No, no, Jesus also from the word of God claimed that the only true God is the Father. Yeah. But in your nature, whatever nature you think you have, and I think it's a human nature, what do you say or who do you say is the only true God? That is not in the New Testament. The term Yahweh is not in the New Testament. So who is it? It's in the Bible. The lady answered the question already. It's the Father. So the Father is the only true God. Is that right? No, not the Trinity. God revealed himself to humanity, right? As God the Father, Yahweh. Right? At, and then, when the human uh, nature was not redeemable, so how. Uh, so you understand the concept? No, I don't, because what I'm trying to understand is this. When God created human nature, Adam sin, right? So, I'm saying when Jesus was a human being, just like you guys are human beings, yeah. Jesus affirmed and you agreed that the only true God is yeah. the Father. This is in John 17, 3, if you want to check it out. Yeah, Jesus says, this is the eternal life that you, the Father, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So Jesus affirms that the only true God is the Father and Jesus affirms that he is the Christ. So we agree with that, so but you, do you Christians agree with so that? So you're saying that the only true God is the Father? Based on Jesus' statement, yes. So you have a big problem with that as a Muslim then? No, no, I'm saying based on Jesus' statement in the Bible, yes, I'm saying why do the Trinitarians don't agree with Jesus? Why do you go against yeah, Jesus? So you agree only Father is a God? So as a Muslim, See, you you're, you're, you're putting words in my mouth. No, I'm putting Jesus' words. I'm, I'm, I'm proclaiming Jesus' words, but you are going against Jesus' words. So should I believe Jesus or you? We're not going so, against Jesus' words. Who is the only true God? God is the only true God. See what Father, I mean? Son, Earlier she said Father, so, now she's so changed. Once Jesus says so, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is only true God. <laughs> um, Shall we read John? Uh, yeah, read John 7 and 3, no problem. <laughs> yeah, take that. Uh, He's going to start John 1, 1, I should. It stopped raining now, is it? Barely anything. Maybe you want to fold it for the yeah, camera. You can fold it. <laughs> Yeah, sure, no problem. So, so I see your many so videos. You are in the camera already. Yeah. So. He revealed himself to humanity, right? You can come this side. If you want. God revealed himself to humanity as Yahweh. So which who, I am. So sorry, which right? God is? Is Father the God? Let her, let her finish. Yeah, yeah. brother, let her finish. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, okay, like okay, a okay, broken okay. record. You want By the way, you keep using the term Yahweh. That is not in the New Testament. You you know that, right? Yeah. That's okay, so don't Testament. use. Terms yeah, yeah. which uh, are so not in I'm there. The this is called twisting mm, in reality. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to tell the Old Testament. In Old Testament times, yeah. God revealed Himself as the Great I Am, Yahweh. As Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah. yeah. By the way, Yahweh doesn't translate to I Am. Okay. It doesn't. Okay. okay? If you so ask God. the Hebrews, they'll say, He who is, mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the, this is the, let's make a yeah. Okay. So, so John 17, 3 agrees with, with Jesus, but not with you guys. And that is what you need to go home and read. 
that the only true God is the Father, not the Trinity. Yeah. Why don't you? Wait, wait, don't interrupt. We have to go now. Of course, you have to go. No problem. Of course. God revealed Himself in the Old Testament as Yahweh. When He said, "You will be the true God," and Jesus said, "Why don't you finish the Old Testament?" As in His human nature, you will be the true God. Jesus and after Jesus ascended to heaven, He revealed Himself. But Jesus never claimed to be God. Jesus said, "The only true God is the Father." Now, if you want to go against Jesus, that's up to you. But they know they just yeah. uh, play around. I showed, that person. Yeah. Yeah. I showed you John 7 in 3. So go home, read it, and then come back. Um, What's your name, by the way? Benita. Benita. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Tell your name now. And she is? What? Yeah, you say your name now. Sorry. No, no, no. Brother, let her finish the point. Okay. So, so what I'm saying is that so you're you going against go Jesus, go yeah, and you shouldn't uh, you do that. Can, you can Read, uh, John, do you have a Bible? Yeah. yeah. So you can go home and read uh, John 20. I read. John 20, yeah. 17, Jesus says, I go to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. So again, Jesus is saying he has a God. Not. What is the next verse saying? Yeah, what does it say? What does it say? You're just making a statement without knowing what it is. Yeah, so God revealed himself. As, uh, I think you're going God against Jesus. Jesus. You shouldn't Jesus. do that. No, yeah. I'm not going against Jesus. Okay. Who do you say is the only true God? Let's see. Father, Son, and Holy exactly. That is against Jesus because Jesus no. says the only God is the only true God is Father. In the Old Testament, He revealed Himself as God the Father, right? Yeah. And then at the time of Jesus, He revealed Himself as Jesus. After Jesus ascended to heaven, He sent His Holy Spirit, and, and the time. Now, but that's your statement. That's not Jesus' statement. He revealed Himself as. Benita, I'm sorry to say this. This is your statement, not the statement of Jesus. So should I agree with you or Jesus? Should I agree with you or Jesus? I'll read John 17. You know, if I were you, I would say Jesus because... I'll read John 17, you read John 20. I read John 20. In fact, I quoted it to you. So John 20, 17 also says, when Jesus claims that I go to my father and your father, my God and your God. So Jesus confirms and affirms that when he was a human being, his God is the Father, and in John 17, 3, he confirms that that is the only true God. And Jesus Christ is the Christ, is the Messiah, who was sent by the only true God. So in both cases, Jesus asserts that Unitarian God is what he worships, what he believes, and whom he prays to. Unlike these Trinitarians who go against Jesus by saying and obeying the church, who actually advocated or concocted this doctrine of the Trinity in the fourth century. Okay? So they are not following Jesus, they're following the church. And this is what we need to do. And all of you who are listening, please do subscribe to Dawa Wise, okay? Because we have explicit videos or exclusive videos which can only be found on Dawa Wise, not the other channels. We support the other channels as well. Alhamdulillah, we all are Muslims. We want to take the dawah as far as possible, but please do subscribe and share uh, and do comment and like as well. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.